Greetings again, dear brothers and sisters in Christ at Faith. Uh, welcome once more to our uh, Friday devotional series from The Lord's Mercy Endures Forever. Uh, today's devotion is entitled Look Up, and it, it follows with our readings uh, from St. Luke, this time uh, coming to us from the 21st chapter, verses 25 through 28. Here Luke records, There will be signs in sun and moon and stars, and on the earth distress of nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves, people fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Our devotion reads, The news reports are frightening. Terror attacks, mass shootings, storms and wildfires, troubling events are taking place on the other side of the world or striking close to home. Those same events are far more terrifying and perhaps deadly for those who endure them. Whether near or far, the world is in an uproar. Or as Jesus said, there is distress of nations, and people are fainting with fear. We would like to hide until it's over, but it will never be over. Or so it appears. We are living in the last times. The unknown length of days between our Lord's earthly ministry and his visible return on the last day. For centuries, Christians have watched the unfolding tragedies in these last days, and rightly recognize them as the beginning of the end. Jesus told us to watch for such events and remember that he is near, at the very gates, as we read in Mark chapter 13. Although false prophets try in vain to predict the date, we do not know, we cannot know, the day of his return. But we can be sure of his promise. Our Lord is coming again. The events that frighten us signal the beginning of the end. For as the Apostle Paul writes, the present form of this world is passing away. But for all who trust in Christ Jesus for salvation, such things signal not only the beginning of the end, but the beginning of the beginning, a new beginning. Jesus said that the wars, earthquakes, and famines we witness are but the beginning of the birth pains. The Apostle Paul explains the anticipated new birth. He says, For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. In the water and the word of baptism, the Holy Spirit created us anew in Christ Jesus. We have the first fruits of the Spirit, the guarantee of resurrection, life to come. When Jesus returns at the final harvest, we will be raised bodily from death as he was, and we will be clothed in immortality. On that great day, God will create a new heaven and a new earth, in which righteousness dwells. This is taken from St. Peter. We will live in his presence forever, praising our risen and glorified Savior for the salvation won for us on the cross. God will wipe away our tears, and neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, and death will be no more, for the former things will have passed away. When you hear and see the violence and the destruction as our world groans in its birth pains, don't hide from the news. Look up. When, now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. And so, dear friends, confident in our redemption in Christ, we are bold to pray. Lord Jesus, when we are frightened at the things we see happening all around us, turn our eyes and hearts to the promises of your holy word. You have created us anew in the water and word of baptism. 
help us to live as your redeemed people, in lives of love, service, and witness, especially those who are persecuted for their trust in you. Savior, we long for the day of your return. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. God's richest blessings to you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray that you have a, a wonderful Friday, a relaxing weekend, and we look forward to uh, seeing you at uh, one of our three worship options uh, this Sunday. God's peace.